Hello everyone, Juicebags here, playing a little Orcs Must Die 2. Today I'm taking a look at Hard Climb from the classic story mode maps. Now I've tried too many strategies to try to high score this map and finally settled with a really basic one. But let me run through a little bit of what I've tried. Now one of the challenges on this map is the floor tiles and the, and the wall tiles and the ceiling tiles don't line up together. You got things like this brazier here that don't allow you to put a, a trap right against the wall unless you go all the way in the corner. Yet when you go all the way in the corner, you can't get anything lined up directly above it because of that banner. Um, you've got a nice wall surface right here to do a little, little tower of pain with a steam vent. Um, I tried that strategy also, was able to get about 1.5 million. Um, I've also tried throwing spike walls here, going over to a spring trap here facing that wall, which went into uh, acid sprayers and grinders on the sorceress. Same thing there, about 1.5 mil. Not uh, the score I was looking for. About the most entertaining strategy I tried was to put a steam trap here up to a push trap up top, going over to a spring off into the drink with a grinder to uh, catch them as they're going down right there on that wall. A little uh, skewed version of O'Dragon's tennis court strategy. And what I settled with, uh, what I settled with was the strategy that was used by uh, Wyatton on Chasm. So it was very basic, uh, eliminated the possibility of a 13x. I don't have the acid sprayer slow. Of course, the only way for the War Mage to apply that is either with uh, the Alchemist Satchel. I think that's what it's called. I never use it. I <laughs> can't remember what it's called. Or with the Spikes. And neither of those fit into my plan here. So I'm eliminating a 13x. And to be Just honest with you, you, I probably won't even see a 12x. But I'm hoping to. Um, little strategic barricading here with those braziers and the stairs. If you barricade like so, the orcs will not run through. So that's nice. It forces everything to go up around here and over to this side. Thanks, uh, Rogo, for the little tip there. Got a little, uh, had a little schooling session with Rogo a couple of weeks ago, and he showed me that one. So now that we've got everything coming over here, we want to get our combo kill box generated, the old combo box. This just doesn't We're going to go with a push trap there. And we're going to go with a spring trap going directly back to it. Barricade behind to help catch some of the orcs in, in flight. And they're going to go up to a grinder. Now, one of the crappy things is I can't put a grinder directly above it, as you see. I can put one off to the side. When I get more coin, I'm going to throw another one right there. Uh, the reason being is this grinder will jam very quickly because it's going to catch the orcs, of course, that are coming back to it from the spring trap. But some of the orcs that you wind belt into the push trap are also going to clip that. So that uh, grinder right is going to be very jammy. Going to uh, throw some barricades up here to help me deal with the flow a little bit. And some tar. Now, the first additions I want to make as soon as the coin allows it is I want to get a scorcher here. And I want to get that other grinder there because jamming is quite an issue. But let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to start every wave, even wave one, with minimal traps with a, some sort of smash combo, just to get every extra little combo point I can. Uh, nothing spectacular there, but got a little 5x. He landed. It was a little bit of a skewed wind belt push. This should be a nice one. Yeah, and there's some sevens. Still, uh, I don't. Unless you just get really lucky, you probably won't see anything higher than than maybe eights on wave one. And you see my grinder is jammed. Those orcs up top that blew up top, they're um gonna get tore up by the archers. If they don't get tore up by the archers use those guys for smash combos. And break. 
And unfortunately, that's all of uh, wave one. Didn't really get much of a score the there. Other, other white meat. Let's go ahead and get uh, my Scorcher and Grinder in place. That will help out quite a bit. Time to go to work. And get wave two started. Come on, little workies. Oh. Crossbow guys. Oh, the dreaded crossbow guys. See, he didn't uh, didn't awesome. land clean either, but you see, just from the push trap in the wind belt, I got a 5x on him, and that's because of that smash combo. And there's some 8s and 9s. The uh, Scorcher helping out, doing its job. Now, this can be a very mana intensive map, so you want to make sure that you're not uh, blowing through it. You, the fewer wind belt pushes, the better. And uh, as we already know, combos are a bit of a pain. It's hard to get on this map, so don't waste any. Unless you just have no other choice. A little premature wind belt push there, but he was about to set my spring trap off, so I didn't want that. Now, wave three is going to be just flyers, so no big deal. This is uh, the casual wave where you grab a snack, you have a ready. drink, smoke a cigarette, whatever you do. Because you can basically just stand right here and kill the 10 or 12 flyers that run through. Not very many of them. Very easy uh, wave. The easiest wave. Everyone's heard me rave about the Vampire Gauntlets in the past. They're by far the best uh, weapon for comboing. They also have the added side of benefit of being awesome versus flyers. Alright, at my first go break, I'm going to throw my flyer defense in now, which is going to be four grinders. Those four grinders right there will allow you to not even think about flyers again for the rest of the match. So from here on out, unless you really just want to, if you need to get a little health back with vampire gauntlets, um, then shoot into flyers. But you can basically just ignore those flyers. Let's get my potion relocated over here so it's a little easier for me to use. Now 2300 coin left. Just it's uh, time to start thinking about that next combo point. Let's see, how do we want to do it? That's off just a little bit. Let's go half a square. We may not even need two. In fact, I don't think we need two web spinners up there. One will get the job done. That's going to give me 1,400 left. Allow me to throw in a little bit more uh, tar. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that tar there for the ones that round the corner. That maybe? Yeah, it looks good to me. Now I could uh, not put so much tar in and work on um, some filtering. Keep it coming. But the next couple of waves are relatively easy. Wave six, you start seeing knolls, which make it uh, a little more of a pain. But like wave four here is just two ogres. So these two ogres just go ahead and blaze them up. You got flyers too, of course, but we're ignoring the flyers at this point. Now, you don't want to end this wave manaless. So, uh, take your time with the last ogre. Once the archers get those flyers down, let them do some work on this ogre here. In fact, I'm going to distract him a little bit, get him to run up this way. Take that. I gotta say, there, fried egg, the old uh, fried egg skin is by far the baddest ass looking thing for the war mage that there is, in my opinion. And really, the same note on the uh, Nanania skin that uh, that one seems to be the one I tend to use for the war mage. Though this one definitely stands very far apart. So there we go, I'm full on health, I'm full on mana, and we're starting wave 5. Grab that coin here, I got 2200 left, I could throw, run out and throw some filtering up, but it's not really necessary quite yet. 
This wave you got flyers and orcs. Yeah, a little 9x. He didn't land quite square, but it's all good. There's some 11s for me. Awesome. I think I saw 11s a little bit earlier when I did the actual high score run on this map. Um, so I'm not certain I'm going to high score this one. But it's still young. There's, there's a lot of time left, a lot of waves, a lot of orc killing. Sweet. Another combo. I'm just going to go ahead and kill that guy. I'm going to bring him back over here to give myself a little smash combo opportunity. Yes. And I didn't see what I got on that one. I'm sure it wasn't much. Okay, now wave six, we got gnolls, and, the, and the gnolls come a little bit later. If they came really early in the wave, it would make this a lot easier. On the but uh, they don't come until the orcs are already all over your traps. Now that's a sticky situation. To help me with that a little bit, I'm just going to throw a shit ton of tar around. Just mainly for this wave. And you see, there's a uh, there's a knoll coming. Awesome. Now you got a knoll up top. Oh. Must be very careful. Ah, this wave. Ah. Oh, an archer is down. Finally. Alright, I better get that health potion there. And then make do with what I have left. And there's some more tens. Let's see what we got left. I think we just got this windbelt bugged orc here. Um, not that I in any main way condone it, but you will get uh, the windbelt bugged mobs down. Um, I'm not a proponent of using any sort of exploits. The uh, My limit lies at the strategic barricading, which uh, I refuse to call an exploit. But I will not get smash combos off of <clears throat> pardon me, wind belt bugged orcs. Although I would love to. I just can't find it in my heart to do it. So... However, if you're practicing this run and you're still practicing the smash combo theory, it's a great opportunity to, to practice them up. And basically, you'll just wind belt them back away from the traps. Come pick them up. Run them and smash them into something around here. I usually use this brazier. Then wind belt them into the push trap and you get the uh, extra combo point. Alright, so we got 7,800 coin left. We're going to start up with some filtering. Now we can f we have two spots to put grinders to filter ogres coming out of that side. And that is going to be here. Check in, but they don't check out. With a barricade. Now, you don't want to put it here. If you do, the little orcs that are coming down the stairs are going to get their heads ground off. So you have to get it as far over as you can to the inside. Same thing on this side. Half a square up as far away from those inner stairs as you can go. Now for some reason they don't run up on these stairs, they stay flat, so you don't have to worry about them grinding their little heads off on these stairs. It's not gonna happen. Alright, 4600 left. Now most of the waves, the gnolls, are gonna go right for the archers. Since we've got a little abundance and coin here, I'm going to give these archers just a little bit of love and throw a couple of scorchers up there to help them out. I got it all tarred to hell now, so uh, that gives me a couple moments. Throwing some tar um, around these grinders. Eh, I guess that's not really going to be effective, is it? 
Is there a way to do it? I can get half a... You can set it so you get half of the grinder in the tar, so the ogre will have to stop there for just a fraction of a second. Now if we put it on this side, however, we're going to get the persists that go through, so that's actually a better idea. Can you do it over here? Let me see. No, you can't really do it over here. Since they're coming from that direction. But that's alright. See, 2400 left. I might as well just go ahead and throw another web spinner up there, just for giggles. So I'm going to move that one over half a square. And go with two there. And that will, uh... It's a little outside of the range of the orcs that are going to be flying up there. They're not going to be flying up really too far to the left or to the, all the way to the right side of that grinder they'll never hit. But that's going to give me good coverage. I still have 1,500 left. You can do a grinder here, but it's only mildly effective. Um, the reason being is the barricading. You can't barricade. You can't put a barricade right there. Even though there's still that little gap in the stairs, the orcs take that as being blocked and they just start smashing. So you have to be a little bit careful what you do there. I'm not even going to bother putting that grinder up there. Maybe I will in uh, the future waves once I uh, get just a, an abundance of coin. And let's see, 1200 left. Maybe I might just sit on that, or maybe even throw some tar over here to give me a second with the knolls that come from this side. I think just the three there should get it. You know what, let me go a half a square out, a and I'll do for four. You. I think that's going to give me just a second from the knolls that are coming through this side. So let's go ahead and get wave seven started. Time to go to work. Alright, I can't remember in Wave 7 if we have some Nulls. I think we may have double Ogres out of each side. Is that what it is? There's one Ogre coming at least, I know that. Huh, maybe it is only single Ogre. It's been uh, several weeks since I've done this run. There. As you see, the flyers getting ground up. Not even going to bother with them, just going to let my mana regen. Yeah. And there we go, that was a uh, pretty darn easy wave. Let's go ahead and slap down a little bit more tar. That's gonna leave a mark. Oops. Helps if you uh, line it up properly, of course. Alright, now this wave, we should have bigs and littles, I believe. Don't really remember, to be honest. Once those crossbow guys get bunched up a little bit more, I'm going to jump over there and give them a little... give them a lift. Didn't get them all in there, but... Enough to get a 10x and a 9. Now you have to constantly move, or these crossbow guys will wreck your face in. Don't be fooled by their skinny appearance. They will cause you pain. A little uh, wasted wind belt push there is never good for uh, these little squishy crossbow guys. Yeah, it was a little early on that one. He's not enough to bother with. Neither is he. In fact, just wreck them all. Alright, starting wave 9 now. I believe I got more gnolls coming. Get myself up to full. I don't want to waste any of those potions. Let's see, what do we have? You're looking like just orcs and flyers. There's probably going to be gnolls. Yeah, 
Yep, there they come now. They're almost there. Okay, where you at, Mr. Noel? It's more fun when you kill them all at once. He's going, going for my archers. You have to be careful here, and there are some guys that you just have to to spray into. Just to, uh, it's not worth wasting the mana to try to wind belt them all the way back down. I have another mana potion. I do make things a little easier on me here. And there's some more tens. I think there was an eleven sneaking in there too. Population, those guys. Come on back over here and let me get a smash combo off one of you guys, huh? Why don't you do me that that one favor? Wait for that push trap to reset. You see I got a bug to work there. Pretty solid shape. And there's a nice 11. As soon as that push trap comes in again, I'm gonna get these bugged guys into the. There we go. And there's a 10. That guy's too low to bother with. Alright, so 8,694 coin left. Not a whole lot else I can do. I can fix my crappy tar placement. <laughs> Allows me to buy a couple more seconds with the gnolls that are coming through there. In fact, I could almost just throw scorchers in too, just to do a little more damage to them. I didn't try that before, but I figure that will do a, a little bit of damage to them anyway before they get up to my archers. 3,900 coin left. I might as well try this the old grinder good. there. Although I know it is not uh, super effective. It does help. Even that. Just having it right there does not allow the, the orcs through. So I think we actually have to do half a square there. Can get rid of that now though. Put some tar in there. That tar is probably unnecessary. <laughs> that tars it up nicely. Still leaves a nice wide opening. Now, um, it's not, although it looks like it should be, it's not super effective. But it will help. So let's go ahead and get started on wave 10. Alright, starting wave 10, right before I uh, started off, I actually got the thought of doing this with the Scorchers pointed in. That will give me a little bit more help from the Knolls. It's um, it's unnecessary, to be honest with you. The Knolls are not that difficult to deal with, but this is definitely a good idea. I don't think too much, I don't think a Knoll is going to make it through that, but we will find out. Let's go ahead and uh, get wave 10 going. We're going to have ogres and orcs on this one, I believe. Or maybe it's just double ogres. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, just going to go ahead and start working these ogres. Now, of course, to, to truly maximize the high score, you would want to kill these ogres somewhere in your kill box just to give you the extra combos. Yet, um, they're small, so I'm not concerned with them. However, I will take me some free coin. And I'm good on mana, but I am a little lower than I'd like to be starting this wave on health. Wave 11 incoming, of course. And the benefit we have on this one is the gnolls are going to come at the beginning of the wave. Which makes it very easy to deal with. 
Ooh, he did make it. Are all the gnolls dead now? Yep. I had to get rid of my Scorcher up top for that uh, other Scorcher on that side. But you see that was four gnolls. Very, very easy to deal with. Nice little burst of tens there. <clears throat> come on in, guys. Come on in. This will be a nice push. Let's get some elevens. There we go. One, two, five. Turn it. I lost count again. And just take your time with these. I try to get those big groups just to use my uh, fear trinket on. However, after that. Give those grinders time, so don't worry about it if you have, uh, it doesn't have to be a big pack of them. It's nice for the, uh, for the Jar of Ghosts, but that is it. This guy's too low for me to shoot into, yeah. Alright, here we go with wave 12. I think just for giggles I'll, uh, throw that up there too. I believe now we may have gnolls for the rest. I'm going to get a couple shots into the flyer here just to get my health all the way capped. Any gnolls? Nothing yet. Some tens, still no spectacular combos. They're almost there. Lots of nines and tens. Um, as I mentioned, I I don't think this is going to get my get me a new number one. But as I mentioned before, this is the exact strategy I used. So if it doesn't. Uh, better execution of this same strategy will get you to where I was. And I think we've got some grinder issues there. The lower one's jammed. The top one's pretty damn close. I'm going to have to kill some orcs here. Get into them a little more than I'd like to. With the vampire gauntlets just to get my health up. See, I accidentally grabbed that potion. Oh, there we go. How perfect was that? Combo. Lots of nines. See, we got a break after this one, so I'm going to try to get one more fear trinket in. I don't want to shoot that guy. He's too squished. Alright, so only one wave left. 10,000 coin left. Not really, uh anything to do with it. A lot of people uh, get a lot of questions of you've got all this extra coin why don't you just throw scorchers everywhere or do whatever and it's because it's this is a high scoring run it's all about the combos. I don't uh, survivability is not an issue. I know I'm gonna be able to clear this even if I lose some rift points but I wanna make sure that I get uh, get every combo I can so I'm just going to sit on my 10k. Go buy myself something nice after the party. Let's go. Let's get started with uh, wave 13 here. Final wave. We're going to have ogres and gnolls on this wave. So I want to start working on those ogres right away. If the ogres get past your kill box, your comboing is ruined. Um, Now also I need to have the mana to deal with with the gnolls. Telephone's ringing, pardon me. Right, sorry about that. It was a uh, urgent phone call that I could not uh, could not wait out. I had to uh, make sure I got it done. Now this round, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use my fear trinket for survival. My little phone call there certainly didn't help me out any. But that is some wasted combos also. 
So before you turn, do this run, turn your damn phone off. Yep, I'm uh, overrun a little, as I mentioned. Once you're once you get an ogre in there, you um, you're screwed, essentially. I'm just gonna go ahead and burn these guys down just to get the this wave finished up and the match finished up. Now, clearly, I won't uh, beat my high score now. But, see we got one bugged mob. Well, yeah, ended it with a 10x at least. And let's see what we got here. Actually, wow, that's uh, substantially better than my old high score. So that shows me that I bet 5 million is really possible using this strategy with uh, better execution and your phone turned off. Let's see what we did. My biggest combo was a 12. New high score there. And that's going to put me up there in uh, the number one spot. I had the number one spot before, but that was at 2.5 million. So 3.2 is not. Uh, I'm pleased. So thanks for watching. Please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Be a lot more gaming videos coming soon. Thanks again.